Welcome to FAS Learning Center. Please like, subscribe and share this video. In today's video, we'll be learning how to subtract fractions. The fractions that we will be subtracting will be unlike fractions. Unlike fraction mean they are not alike, they are different. Let's look at the first question. 2 over 3 take away 1 over 2, which is a half. At the bottom, we already have a denominator. In order to take them away, we need the same denominator. And we have two denominators which have already been given to us, which is 6. 3 times what equals 6? 3 times 2 equals 6. The rule is, if you times the denominator by 2, you have to times the numerator by 2, 2. So 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 over 6. You may have realised 2 over 3 is equivalent to 4 over 6. Let's look at the next fraction, which is a half. 2 times what equals 6? 2 times 3. 2 times 3 equals 6. Remember the rule, if you times the numerator, if you times the bottom, which is the denominator, by 3, you have to times the top by 3, 2. 1 times 3 is 3. Once you have done that, we are ready to subtract. 4 take away 3 equals 1. Our answer is 1 over 6. Right, let's look at the next question. 5 over 8 take away 1 over 2, which is 1 over half. Again, we have been given a denominator. We need to think about how do we make, how does this denominator become 8? As you could see, it's already at 8. So 8 times 1 equals 8. So we times the top by 1 as well. So 5 eighth. Let's look at the next one. 2 times what equals 8? 2 times 4 equals 8. We do exactly the same to the top. 1 times 4 equals 4. So this is how our fraction looks like. 5 over 8 take away 4. 4 over 8. 5 take away 4 gives us 1. So our answer is 1 eighth. Right, let's go to question 3. 3 over 8 take away 1 over 3. So 8 times what equals 24? 8 times 3 equals 24. We do exactly the same to the top. That's one of the rules that we need to follow. 3 times 3 equals 9. Let's go to the next fraction. 1 over 3, which is the same as 1 third. 3 times what? equals 24, 3 times 8 equals 24. We do exactly the same to the top, 1 times 8 gives us 8. Now we have the fraction 9 over 24, take away 8 over 24. So we are just going to take away the numerators, which is the 
top number, 9 take away 8, gives us 1. We don't do anything to the denominator, in fact we just pick it up and we just put it at the bottom of the answer, so 24 goes there. 1 over 24 is the answer. Let's look at the next question. 5 over 6, take away 1 fourth. 6 times what equals 12? 6 times 2 equals 12. We do exactly the same to the top. 5 times 2 equals 10. 10 over 12 is our first fraction. You may have realised that 5 over 6 is equivalent to 10 over 12. One over four. Four times what equals twelve? Four times three equals twelve. One times three equals three. Three over twelve. It's ten take away three equals seven. So our answer is seven twelfth. Seven over twelve. Let's go to question 5. 7 over 10, take away 2 over 3. As you look at the, the given denominator, it is 30. We need to think about how do we get from 10 to 30. 10 times what equals 30? Mm -hmm. It is 3. 10 times 3 equals 30. So we found out that we're times in the denominator by 3, we have to do the exactly the same to the numerator. So 7 times 3 equals 21. 21 over 30. Let's look at the next one. 3 times what equals 30? 3 times 10 equals 30. Remember the rule, if you times the bottom by 10, you have to times the top by 10 as well. 2 times 10 equals 20. So here, as you will know by now, we are just taking away the numerator. 21 take away 20 gives us 1. 30, we pop 30 in here. We just pick up one of the 30s and drop it down. We don't add them up. 1 over 30. Okay, let's look at question 6. 3 over 4, take away 6 over 10. So how do we get from 4 to 20? 4 times 5 gives us 20. So we have to do exactly the same to the top. 3 times 5 gives us 15. Let's look at the next fraction, 6 over 10. 10 times what equals 20? 10 times 2 equals 20. Therefore, we do exactly the same to the top. 6 times 2 equals 12. 12 over 20. Now, we are going to be taking away the numerators. 15 take away 12 gives us 3. We drop one of the 20 down here, we get 3 over 20. So our answer here is 3 over 20. Question 1 to 6, we had a given denominator. They gave us a denominator. Here they gave us 30. Here they gave us 20. And we had to think about how do we get from the top denominator, how do we get from 4 to 20? What multiples will go to 20, will go with 20? 
and here we have to think about what multiples will go with 10 to make 30. Next question does not have a denominator. Therefore, we will be adding a denominator. The question is, how do we add the denominator when we haven't been given a denominator? The easiest way to do this is by times in the denominators. 12 times 4, 12 times 4 is 48. So pop 48 in both of the fractions. Now we have to think about how did we get to 48? So we did 12 times 4, right? So we do exactly the same to the top. We do 12 we do 5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. So 20 over 48 is the first fraction. Let's look at the next one. How do we get from 4 to 48? 4 times 12. So 4 times 12 equals 48. We do exactly the same to the top. 1 times 12 equals 12. So 12 over 48. So the question now is 20 over 48. Take away 12 over 48. 20 take away 12 gives us 8. And then we drop a 4. 48 down here, exactly like we have been doing. 8 over 48 is our answer. Right, let's look at the next one. Again, as you may have realised, we do not have a denominator. Therefore, what are we going to do? Yes, we are going to add times the denominators. 8 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. So, both of my denominators will be 32. We need to have the same denominators in order to subtract. So we did 8 times 4. So we do exactly the same to the top. 3 times 4, which is 12. Let's look at the next one. 4 times 8. So we do 1 times 8 gives us 8. 12 take away 8 is 4. We drop one of the denominators down here, exactly the same number. We don't take away or add those. 4 over 32. And here our answer is 4 over 32. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like my video, please share it with your friends. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.